This is the new Hostinger Horizons tool. It's basically a chatbot that automatically builds and hosts functioning applications just by chatting. So I could go, let's build an app that lets users schedule an appointment with me by selecting the available date and time. Once that time slot is filled, it can't be booked again. The AI takes these instructions, writes the code for it, uploads that code to your hosting your server and hosts it, giving you a real-time preview how your app will look and function once users access it. Of course, this is pretty cool and was pretty much science fiction just a couple of years back. But now you can generate website or app code with software like ChatGPT or Cloud. But you would still need to learn how to set up a web hosting environment and actually host the files generated because it's just a raw text output with no previews. However, with Hostinger Horizons, it's all taken care of automatically. Now, it still has the regular AI introduced problems. For example, sometimes when you ask for it to add some feature, it completely breaks the website or an app and you see nothing but it also has the ability to fix itself. For example, here, I've stated that I only see a white screen and nothing else. It immediately started fixing itself. Of course, this kinda created even more problems. But Hostinger Horizons had anticipated this and if any serious errors occurred, it automatically had this fix it for me button. Eventually, it determined that the problem was with the email delivery system. It can't use the system it wanted to use, so it just switched to another method all by itself. At this point, I'm completely hands off. I'm just chatting with it using plain language, nothing technical, nothing special, and it's doing all of the work. Once the issues were solved, I was able to host my application by clicking on deploy, and it's immediately online. Hostinger gave me a custom subdomain where I could reach this app and by this point I already had a tool that allowed people to select the date, select the time and book an appointment with me and I would get their email with all of the information to my Hostinger email box. However, I don't like how it looks. It doesn't look good. Let's make it into more of a website. So with just one prompt, not even very detailed, I just gave it two colors and the name of my brand. It transformed the web app into something more usable. But I wasn't done just yet. With one more prompt, I've asked it to make it look more like a 2025 design. Use the best UI and UX practices, add more content, animations, hover effects. And in just a few minutes, it gave me this. I mean, Wow. If I wanted for this version to go live and overwrite the old one, all I need to do is press deploy again and I'm done. So it's really easy to iterate because you don't need anyone else to handle any of the technical stuff for you. You type in what you need to be done and it's online immediately. Let's try adding an accordion menu to the FAQ section and also add some videos from my channel using the YouTube API key and see how it handles these changes. Once again, in true AI fashion, it just uh, broke itself, but we can attempt a fix. After the fix, everything is working apart from the video. They don't seem to be loading. Let us try and explain the issue to the chatbot. Cool, it looks like it fixed it, but now it's loading all of my videos and I only want for the long form videos to appear, not for my shorts. So I'll ask it to exclude everything that's under two minutes. I'm not even sure if this is possible, but yeah, it seems to, to work great. This is exactly what I needed. I mean, I'm blown away. This is the first actual AI website builder. Everything else that has been marketed up to this point is just random website generation that's taking pre-made parts and shuffling them around. This is truly a text to website tool and it doesn't suck. If I were to do a quick speed test of this website, it loads in 1.4 seconds with a 66 millisecond respawn time. I mean, that's incredible. I built this within minutes. I did absolutely no optimization. I just chatted with an AI bot for like three minutes. 
and my website has custom functionality. It's sending emails to my email box. It's using an API key to display videos from my channel. This is a truly custom design. Let's try to add more complex stuff and see if it breaks. I'll go ahead and ask it to add a price calculator to my existing website as a new separate page. But I won't give it all that many details. I'll ask for it to use the best price calculator parameters that it thinks I need and will tweak if needed later. Then it took around two minutes for the changes to get implemented and it came up with a pretty good price calculator. I don't think it needs any tweaks at all. However, in true AI fashion, it did break my existing page. So now I need to go ask for it to fix the part it broke and hopefully this price calculator still works. It was able to fix the problem, but here is where more AI generated problems creep up. As you can see, the design has now shifted a tiny bit. My hero area looks different and my FAQ accordion looks different as well. And that's currently the biggest problem with long-term large-scale AI projects. It's hard to keep them consistent throughout time. When you're doing everything as one person or as a team, you tend to do everything using the same language, the same structure and the same architecture. You don't use Bootstrap 4 for half of your project and Bootstrap 5 for the rest of it. But the AI, it mixes and matches different languages or methods and the code is not very efficient since AI knows everything, it's using everything and mixing everything together. This is not what you want for your website or project ideally. So I wanted to test out how good Hosting Your Horizons handles small changes in code. I've asked for it to remove this one button, make the other one centered and add a small line of text beneath it. Really small stuff. I was very doubtful that it could do it because AI models usually struggle to change something small without breaking everything in the process. But it worked and nothing broke. At this point, I've used around 40 prompts out of my 100 monthly ones and I would say I truly created a website using AI. I didn't do shit. <laughs> Basically, it's all hosting your horizons. And it's a highly customized page with tons of custom functionality. It's definitely not a template look. And the website loads great. And it can be used for way more than just websites. You can develop entire applications. For example, Hostinger has demonstrated that they've used this tool to create a QR generator with no ads or a dice roll website to help with board games. Yes, you can quickly whip up a page to do tedious tasks for your favorite board games like score calculations, history, dice rolls, keeping track of tokens, etc. And have it online and available for future sessions in minutes. For example, I want an app that allows me to grab thumbnails from any YouTube video because I often look at what others have made and learn from it, implement their good practices in my own videos. But you can't download thumbnails directly from YouTube. So one prompt and that's it. Now I have a 100% online tool where I can download thumbnails from the video. If I use several more prompts, I've just added a download functionality as well, allowing me to download YouTube videos. Yes, a personal YouTube downloader with no ads made in 10 seconds. This is insane. As a bonus, it also made the projects completely mobile friendly and added an SSL certificate to my custom domain name. I didn't even specify for it to do this. It just did it on its own. Did Hostinger just create the best development tool that exists? Period. Combining their excellent web hosting platform, the power of LLM models for coding, and their knowledge of web plus app development requirements and best practices, in my opinion, yeah. And I don't get excited easily. The keywords AI is slapped onto absolutely anything at this point. In most cases, it barely means anything. But this seems different, better, 
It truly captures that magic of transforming your ideas to reality as frictionless as possible and you just see it work. It's not just applying fancy templates to your descriptions or churning out slop that barely functions. However, there is still a catch, at least for now. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but I didn't find absolutely any way to access my files. It's like a black box. You have absolutely no idea what's in your project. Is it secure? Is it full of conflicts? Is it just spaghetti code? Even if I'd hire a person to continue working on this, he couldn't. All changes are made explicitly through hosting your horizons, no manual intervention, no exporting your code. So it works while you're using Hostinger, and if you want to switch, well, <laughs> too bad, you can't. Additionally, since you're paying for prompts and the AI needs prompts to fix the errors it made in the first place, for example, it took me like 10 to 15 prompts of just error fixing to get my downloads working because the AI kept messing something up. What exactly? I have no idea. I can't look at the code. I just had to trust that it'll eventually get it right. So I burned through my prompts fixing something, but I have no idea what or why it kept failing. So I couldn't give it more direct instructions. And since you can't see the code, that's putting a lot of trust into something you can't see or verify. So maintaining large-scale applications will be a nightmare that will eat through your limited amount of prompts fast. And yes, the interactions you have are limited. The tool officially released on March 4th. If you want to get 100 prompts per month, you'll need to pay $20 per month. I've used 40 to create my project in this video, but I wasn't being careful. I could have have done it in like 10 or 15 with some careful planning of what I need. I just kind of winged it. And 100 prompts for $20 is a great deal in my opinion. For example, here, I used three prompts to create this page. So it didn't cost me all that much, but I mean, I'm getting the design, I'm getting the coding, I'm getting the content, I'm getting all of the hosting technical stuff out of the way, and it just works. It does exactly what I needed for it to do without me having to hire other people. So how do you get started using this tool? First of all, you need a hosting your plan. You can get one with a 10% discount by using the links in the description together with the code Emmet Reviews. You also get a website name that you can use to make your website or project available online. Additionally, Hostinger allows you to create unlimited subdomains, so you'll have custom names for all of your projects without spending anything extra. And yes, with one plan, you can host up to 100 websites, projects, or whatever. After you purchase your Hostinger plan, you can now choose how you want to use your server. You have three options. Use WordPress, use the Hostinger website builder tool that allows for drag and drop functionality with premium templates, or use the Hostinger Horizons tool. But these are not explicit to each other. You can use all three because you can create up to 100 projects. This is what makes Hostinger great. One purchase and you have the most universal server you'll ever need. For hosting your horizons, you get five free prompts per month. If you want to boost that limit, it's going to cost you an extra based on how many prompts you need. So with the release of hosting your horizons, this makes Hostinger the single most valuable subscription you can have for creating anything online related. Since now you get web hosting space, website design tools, and an application creation tool all in one. If you want to know more about Hostinger and how shady or not shady their practices are, I have a deep dive video right here. But good luck creating your projects and I'll see you in the next video.